The Miami Dolphins haven't done all that much in free agency with almost a week in the books but some believe they are up to something big. Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald says that the Dolphins are working on something but isn't sure what. He says that someone he trusts has told him that Miami is looking for a right tackle but are not full court press so to speak on Lael Collins. The assumption is Miami wants Teron Armstead. Armstead is a left tackle which would move Liam Eikenberg either inside or to right tackle depending on whether Miami shifts Robert Hunt. But what if the speculation about Miami working on something is indeed in the works? Who would it be for? Quarterback. Not likely. Unless Miami was going to go big and swing a blockbuster trade for Aaron Rodgers that would put the Watson and Wilson trades to shame, there simply isn't any other quarterback that would be big or even needed. Running back. Perhaps. While the Dolphins added a couple of runners to the roster maybe they are looking for one more that could change it completely. While it is possible, I find this to be incredibly unlikely. Prior to the start of free agency, I might have believed that Saquon Barkley or James Robinson. Now, there isn't much of a need with the draft next month. Tight end. Unless Miami is making a monster bid for George Kittle, forget about it. They have tagged Mike Jasicki and re-signed Durham Smythe. Offensive line. Yeah. Possibly but why make a monster trade for a tackle when you passed on doing that with Collins? Armstead and several others are still on the market so making a deal makes no sense when you can them for free. Laramie Tunsil? He is on the block and bringing him back to Miami wouldn't be overly shocking but the Dolphins don't need to bring him on board with free agents still available and just as good. Defensive line. Miami is pretty set along the defensive line and made investments in their edge rushers so I don't see where a blockbuster deal would come from. Linebackers. Miami does need depth at linebacker and they need another starter as well. Linebacker may be the weakest position on the Dolphins roster. Miami brought back several players from last year but only Jerome Baker is under contract beyond the 2022 season. A trade however, seems very unlikely. Cornerback and safety. As long as Xavier Howard's contract hasn't been touched, he will always be a candidate for a big trade. This late in the free agency game wouldn't make much sense because replacing him would be nearly impossible. Same with Byron Jones, I would be cautious to think Miami would touch their secondary outside of releasing some players to clear cap. Clearing cap. This is something that is more of a prelude to a blockbuster deal or any trade that would involve draft picks and players. Miami has not made any roster moves that would indicate they are working on something but they don't actually have to until a deal is done. Whatever it is the Dolphins may or may not be working on doesn't seem to be a major trade. The market as it is now has plenty of options to fix the Dolphins roster and fill holes with right tackle being the most important right now. Either way, we simply won't know what the Dolphins are doing unless someone breaks news that they made a deal, or someone links they almost did. For now, take the speculation, even from top media outlets is just that, speculation. Jesse Davis holds the ire of almost every Miami Dolphins fan on the planet and the only reason he is still a discussion, is because he still has a job. But what if we are wrong about him? It isn't a popular opinion but I like Jesse Davis. Yes, I think he should be released but not for the reasons you may think. I think he deserves a shot to play with a really good offensive coach because honestly, he hasn't that in Miami. Not once. Davis has been with the Dolphins since 2017. An undrafted free agent who bucked the trend and made an NFL roster, and then a started. Jesse Davis has played just about every position along the offensive line but he is more of a guard than a tackle. He started at right guard for his first 26 games then moved out to right tackle, then moved to left tackle and finally back to right tackle last year where he failed, miserably. In his seasons with Miami since 2017 he faced more uncertainty than any other offensive lineman on the roster. 2017. Adam Gase. Clyde Christensen. Chris Forster. Offensive line coach. 2018. Adam Gase. Dowell Logans. Jeremiah Washburn. Offensive line coach. 2019. Brian Flores, Chad O'Shea, Dave DeGuglielmo, offensive line coach, replaced the original offensive line coach who was fired after four days of camp. 2020. Brian Flores, Chan Gailey, Steve Marshall, offensive line coach. 2021. Brian Flores, Godzi, Studesville, Lemuel Jean-Pierre, offensive line coach. Many fans are currently talking about how Mike McDaniel, Frank Smith, and new offensive line coach Matt Applebaum will improve the offensive line play because they can coach the line to be better. Of all the players on the roster, Davis is the one who has been through the most. The team player that has moved from spot to spot because of the whim of a coach. Yet we are to believe that he is not capable of benefiting from a coaching change? Perhaps he is too far gone in terms of being able to turn his career around. 
too many coaches throughout his career and none of them able to help him but none of them were able to help any of the Dolphins' offensive line. Look again at the coaches since 2017 and not one single offensive lineman is considered better than average. Believed to have hit their ceiling. Not a single one. I don't think that Jesse Davis should start. I think Miami needs to be better at right tackle but I think Davis could be a valuable backup guard and maybe even develop with more quality coaching. Maybe that will not be here. Maybe it shouldn't be. While fans pound their fists for Davis's release, those same fans are thinking that Miami has the right coaches to make this unit better. Maybe Davis deserves at the very least, a shot in training camp to see if he can benefit as well. As I said, this is not a popular opinion but it is one we shouldn't just summarily dismiss either.